Welcome back to Amber Northwest. Our first guest is a rare combination of board certified medical doctor, naturopathic physician, and Chinese medicine master, an expert on alternative and integrative medicine. And here to talk to us about natural first aid for summer, we're happy to welcome back Dr. Daniel Newman. Nice to see you, my friend. Good to see you, Dave. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people are embracing the, the more natural approach. It, it's easier. Are there a lot of natural remedies for some of these ailments in the summertime? You know, there, there are. And again, we have a, a short segment today, so I'm going to suggest people go to my website, drdanielnewman.com. They can sign up for my free health newsletter and get monthly updates on things like that. Perfect. Well, let's talk about some specific things. Sunburn. A lot of people, even when they, even when they try to protect themselves, they, maybe a little too much exposure, they get burns. What, what should they do? Well, um, hopefully we'll have a lot of opportunity for that this year. It's kind of questionable. But if you, do get, <laughs> if you do get sunburned, then this plant, the aloe vera, is really the queen. In fact, they've done some randomized controlled styles, studies where they recently found that using an aloe vera extract was more effective in pro promoting the healing of secondary burns than silver, silver sulfadiazine, which is what they usually use if you go to the emergency room. Now, this plant looks a little bit like a cactus, but don't worry, it's a succulent. It doesn't have any thorns. And all you got to so do is cut off a leaf. And that's all you do is just cut that you leaf off right You just cut there. off a leaf right there. Okay. And then you split it open. And on the inside, you can see there's this gel. Oh, yeah. It's just you got It that? kind of a, uh, looks like a sticky sort of gel. So you just, and you can use a spoon or you can just scrape it out with your gosh, fingernail. Look at there's a lot there. There's a it? lot there. And yeah. you just rub it on the burn. And you just rub it on the burn. That's it. And it's also good for, for your skin, so don't worry about rubbing it on right is now. It like, is it like a, like a softener? I mean, uh, a little, you could use treatment? it. They use it in an awful lot of different skincare products, but it, it, it's been used even in, in burn centers. Wow. It's I, that effective in helping I, with the healing of burns. I know you're a highly trained doctor. Uh, is this uh, is this a plant that, that 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 stem will grow back or it'll continue to reproduce? It'll continue itself? to grow. You can you can pick this up in nurseries all around town. Um, it'll grow very well indoors all year round. And, very cool. And well, let's uh, let's assume for a second that you don't happen to have the plant with you. Uh, when you're at the beach, are there are there other aloe vera you know uh, combinations you can use? Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't be taking this to the beach. You can get aloe vera extracts if if you're going to use it. You want to use something that's 99% organic aloe vera, so you're not getting a bunch of other junk in there that you don't really need. How often do you apply it to a to a sunburn? Well, it, it depends on how severe the burn is. If the burn is something that you're going to have a dressing on, then you're going to reapply it every time you, you change the dressing. If it's just what we call a first-degree burn where it turns red but it doesn't blister, then every time it starts to tighten up or bother you, you could put a little more on. So you could put it on several times a day. And, and you couldn't put too much on it. No, you're not going to, you know, unless you drown in a vat of this stuff, you're not going to hurt yourself right. with aloe. What about uh, bruises, sprains, people okay, a little uh, too overactive? What do you do for bruises and sprains? Well, one of the recommendations I have is sounds very mundane, but it's ice. It's quick as you can apply it. And if you don't have uh, you know, ice cubes available, then frozen vegetables, frozen peas, frozen corn, that sort of thing. A couple of rules of thumb. Number one, don't put it directly against your skin because you can actually injure the skin that way. So use a thin towel or a sheet or something like that to wrap the ice with and then apply it to the area 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, and then just keep repeating the cycle. And that can make a big difference. Very quickly, uh, any, anything over the counter that you could, you could take for, for, for that if, if you, this pain is too much or anything you would recommend? Well, the other thing I recommend besides ice is homeopathic Arnica Montana. Now, this is a homeopathic remedy that's made from a plant. It actually does grow in mountainous regions uh, th throughout the United States and around the world. And studies on it have been mixed, but my experience has been that it can be quite helpful in decreasing the pain and swelling from bruises and injuries. I've even seen some spectacular results with more serious injuries. Awesome. And you are quite helpful. Thanks for coming in today. Well, folks, know that well, thank we've you got much. more information, too, on our website. Uh, you can find Dr. Newman, 360-696-3800. We've got the info at katu.com. Now, up next, how to impress your friends with a deck of cards. Stay right there. This is fascinating.